Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Set Education. In our today's video, we are going to discuss and gonna drive time and space complexity of word sort. So let's get started. Let's first talk about the time complexity. So uh, if if we recall back on what all principle merge sort works on, it works on first divide. Second, it works on conquer, and third, it works on merge. On three principle, this merge sort works on. Now, when we divide, we divide it into equal size. So, what we write that t of n, which is the time complexity, can I write two t n by two plus n? Now, how we got this expression? Let me tell you. So, if you remember that, how we derive time complexity? We derive time complexity t of n two two. This two is from we are dividing the array right into two equal halves. This n by two. What is this n by two? Remember, this is of equal elements. So you are when you divide the array. So when you divide the array, you get what equal elements, and then we write f of n. This f of n is nothing but the function which denotes the comparison made to merge two sorted array. So with, that will be nothing but n minus one. So asymptotically, I can write it as n, right? So if you don't know how to do this, I have already have videos on derivation of time and complexity generic. So you can check out those videos. This is the basics, right? How we derive time complexity, and I think. We have taken 10 to 15 examples of different different loops, uh, so where we are going to drive that. All right. So coming back to this, so uh, so this is nothing but that we are dividing the array. So time taken for the complete algorithm is nothing but time taken for two parts, that is two equal parts, and with the equal elements. And that is the minimum number of comparison we are going to do while merging it back. Make sense? Now nothing but if you remember we had studied master theorem. So if you apply that master theorem, if you don't remember what is master theorem, please look at our previous video, initial videos where we have discussed about all this basics. What is big O, theta, time complexity, space complexity. How to drive for any of the algorithms and all that. So, right? So, what do we get? We need to figure it out what is A for this, what is B for this, and given what is it, we are given A as 2, B as 2. So, if you apply this master theorem, you will get log n a to the power b equals to log 2 by 2, which is nothing but n and log a to the base b. So, if you compare what you need to do if you compare n log b to the base a with f of n so this is what this is n this is what this is n so both are same so this both are same which case it is case two of the master theorem if you remember Case two of the master theorem that which says that t of n is equals to theta of n log a to the base log n. Remember, so this is nothing but n, and this remains log n. So therefore, t of n is equals to theta of n log n. So this is the time complexity of Merge sort. Now this remains same for all cases: average, best, and worst. Why so? Because there is no condition where we have to stop. Right? You need to perform divide until you get subarray of element one, and you're going to merge it. Right? There is a uh, no step. If you have seen the previous videos where we have discussed the examples of merge sort. Where we are stopping it. There is no condition to stop. We have to iterate through all this and then you have to merge it back completely. 
So in that case, when there is no stopping conditions, if you have seen the other algorithms video also, you will understand that what I mean by stopping conditions, right? For example, in selection sort, right? You you do do that, right? So all this thing happens, right? So that's why it is same for this. Now if I talk about the space complexity, so if you remember, right? Let me write space complexity. So if you remember when we do merge, right? What we do is we have a temporary array B of K. So we sort that in B of K and then if we copy if we have a array A of L that is our original array. So we need extra space that is O of N for this because we need to store the temporary. This is what temporary array where we store the variable. You remember we compare A of I and A of J. If A of I is less than then what we do we copy A of I to B of K and increment I and increment K. In case A of J is less we copy A of J in B of K and increment J and increment K. Right? So that is B of K is a temporary array needed. That is O of N of extra spaces needed to copy the array. So time complexity of merge sort is N log N and space complexity is O of E. So if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.